Cowbunga dudes, I have made quite a lot of progress with my art, my drawing and my painting, particularly my drawing over the last nine months. So it's been a little while since I uploaded a video, so I wanted to share my progress with you guys again. I think my last video was about four months ago, so long overdue for an update. Things have been going really well. I think I've been back for about nine months now after a 17 year break from art since I quit college to become a pro MMA fighter and um, it was very rusty very rusty when I started drawing again but I, honestly I, I really didn't know much about how to draw and paint and constructive um, portrait and figure drawing so I, I've learned a hell of a lot I've particularly been using uh, New Masters Academy, an online membership website that teaches you about drawing and painting. In particular, I've made the biggest amount of progress with drawing using a charcoal pencil, the Conte, the Conte charcoal pencil, um, 1710B. This is really cool because you can cover and shade in like a lot of surface area really quick and um, it's really useful for like big shoulder and elbow drawing and I've probably enjoyed this the most and like I said, said, like I said in my last video I've been using and like I said in my last video I've been using newsprint paper um, I, it, it's a bit flimsy though. I've been using this like tons, but it's um, falling apart, as, as you can see. And so last time around, I think I showed you guys this this one. This was my most impressive drawing at the time. I was unbelievably happy with that one because this was all done with charcoal, and I had char I had tried charcoal like once or twice as a kid. Like the big thick sticks and it was just a big just smudgy mess and the charcoal pencils that I'm using now are very different you can get quite a lot of detail out of them it's not quite as like fine detail as a um, graphite like normal pencil but I particularly like the contrast between the light and the very very darks that you can get with this and I think that, that's what makes it my my favorite tool, my favorite sort of style or medium of, of art. And so this this was what I did next. This was a portrait. I'm going to show a like scan or photo of it next next to this. This was this was my most recent one, and I was mega happy with this. Need to try and get that in the light a little bit, but yeah, that, that's why I'm gonna show it side by side. Um, I was mega pleased with this. It was um, very hard to do because when you when you're drawing a young woman or a young girl, it is very easy to age them too much, like adding too much detail. Try to not use too many lines on the face and just shade it in gently. But like I said, what I particularly like is like the dark darks here. In contrast with the the lightest lights, it's, it's really cool. I really like that. And um, this was by far my most realistic looking drawing so far. And um, I, it took a long time, uh, over five hours. I can't remember exactly. It's quite a while ago. I did this now, about three months ago. But yeah, I was so pleased with this. I mean, every, almost every drawing that I've done so far is is is, is much better than the last. And I'm like, oh, I can't believe I've done this. So. As well as my drawing, I've been doing a, a bit more painting. Now, the membership site that I'm using focuses on drawing a lot more at first. It kind of has a curri curriculum laid out and it tells you what if you want to do, if you want to do, learn to do figure drawing and figure painting later on, uh, portrait drawing and portrait painting later on. It kind of tells you what to do step by step um, and gradually go from one course to a slightly harder course, it's like in progression, a little bit like um, like I was doing progression with body weight strength training or my skateboarding, 
it's it's like you start with the foundation, you you go on to uh, more slightly more difficult, uh, more, more difficult stuff. And, but I've been, but I have been doing a, a lot more painting, the oil painting for beginner courses, the gouache, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. Oil is really hard for me because I'm all right with the. Okay, and up next is one of my figure drawings, and when drawing the figure, a lot of the time you'll be taught to draw the figure naked, the person naked, because when you add like clothes, you get all sorts of wrinkles and folds, and it's very difficult to draw and make, it just complicates it for a beginner, and so for, for someone like me, I'm, I had a lot of drawing experience at college, but I'm still a beginner, and so it's best to start learning to draw the figure with no clothes on, and I don't know, Hopefully YouTube doesn't censor this video too much, but uh, yeah, spoiler alert, there's going to be a drawing of a naked person, so fair warning. Um, here we go. Uh, again, I'll, I'll show it side by side. It's kind of difficult to get it in the light. I, I mean, it's, it's super sunny outside. I have my living room, my kitchen light on, window, you know, my back door has massive windows, all the lights coming in, and this lighting is still crappy. But there you go. So there you go, um, I, I was particularly pleased with how much detail and how smooth and fine I got with the shading. Really difficult with the uh, charcoal, uh, but uh, yeah, everything, I was really happy with this. I think, particular around, I think particular around the chest and the abs come out really well. With the chair, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't happy with the chair, it kind of come out as a blurry mess but I think by that point it had taken me well over five hours and I, I, I was rushing it too much I should have stepped back from it and had a rest and just come back to it at a later point but overall overall I'm so happy with that once again I think later on the courses that I'm doing get a lot more into drapery folds and wrinkles and stuff like that in, in cloth and so um, that should help a lot because I struggled with that there uh, that, that definitely didn't help. Alright next up um, another portrait drawing which uh, was really really fun and really interesting to draw um, show up right here and I'll, I'll get it up on the screen as well Light, because the lighting in here is very bad this one was really fun to draw. This is a, it was a picture of an elderly Asian man and all the wrinkles, it was like the opposite of the, the, the woman that I showed you the drawing of earlier, it, where you can see drawing all the wrinkles and in, adding detail really ages someone quite a lot. But all of the shadows and different values were made this really fun, really fun to draw. It was difficult really difficult and doing these drawings I always start really really light I'll shade in really really light I'll start with the lightest bits first even when I get to like the darkest value the blackest black I'll first shade it in really light and then I'll go a little bit darker then a little bit darker because if you go because if you go dark straight away with the shading with the value um, it's really really hard to fix it if you mess it up. When you go dark, it's hard to rub it out, to erase it. I mean, with this paper, it, it gets, it really gets stuck in there and it'll, it'll just be a smudge left over. And so, if you start light, you can always add more afterwards, but if you go dark straight away, you you can't take it away, it's, it's there. You can't erase it, it's just gonna be a, still a dark smudge left over and so, yeah, I, I really took my time and started light and then going a bit darker. And because of that, this took a really, really long time. Um, I think it was close to like 10 hours. I'm a beginner, so I'm still really slow at this. I was pleased with the result. This one's really cool. While I was doing it, I was really unhappy with the shading. I was just like, my hand wasn't doing what I was um, what I was telling it to or what I wanted it to do. It feels like this come out um, most of these drawings, they come out really nice, like accidentally, like uh, see what Bob Ross says, happy little accident. One of the courses that I've been doing on 
New Masters Academy with Renaissance head drawing and it's kind of that old school Leonardo da Vinci style of um, head drawing and what's different about it is rather than just shading it in the values that you see you're like drawing to kind of highlight the form highlight all of the uh, anatomy this was the probably the best one in my opinion my, well it was my favorite one this one was done on a time limit, so I think this one took about an, an hour. I went over the time limit, I think it was supposed to be about 40 minutes, but as I said, I'm slow and uh, I need to take my time. Okay, so this next one, this was the most recent piece of art that I've done. Um, I, I can't tell you how long this took, it took well over 10 hours. I, this was a drawing that I did for my wife. Um, and it was a, from a photo from our wedding day. Um, you can see some of them up there above the TV. But did, I, I chose the wrong photo to do. It's a really good photo, but uh, her hair is done in a way where it's just it's all over the place, and there's so much detail in the hair. It was unbelievable. Like if you draw, you know, hair hair is really really difficult to draw to draw well I mean hands um, hands feet and hair <laughs> really difficult and um, well here you go I'm gonna get a scan of it I'm gonna put the light on the camcorder I've got lights behind it set up like but I've moved one of my spotlights down here I've got the light from the camcorder here so hopefully that's a little bit better um, here we go it is hard to see the detail um, I'm just holding it up to the camera. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the uh, the scan, the photo, uh, where my head currently is. So yeah, this this took me well over ten hours. I uh, really took my time with it because the hair was just so difficult. Um, again, the whole time my hand just wasn't doing what I was telling it to do, and th the whole way through I was just uh, so unhappy with it. But in the end, it, it come out fantastic, I think. The sun is shining on the face in, in the photo, and so it's very, very light. And for the reasons that I, I, uh, I was saying earlier, you, it's, it, you can't add too much detail when drawing a, a woman's face, because it will age them quite a lot. And so I had to keep the face really, really light. And because of that, I think it's quite hard to um, see a lot of the detail, but... Um, I did the, in the scan. I took I took I took this to the library and scanned it with the big A3 scanner, and and f I tried it f f like four times, and unfortunately, it kept cutting off some some part of it. And uh, the best one, which I'm showing you, it cut off a little bit of the the right hand side of the hair. But um, I, I think it come out really well. I was really pleased with it. My wife was really pleased with it, which is all that matters. So that's it for me today. I'm uh, I'm going to keep practicing, keep trying to get better at drawing and painting. I'm not sure where this is going to go, how good I'm going to get, but I'm excited to find out.